Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Well, I've got a letter here I want to read to you. Dear Margaret, am I doing something wrong? My homemade grape juice has crystals in the bottom. Are they bad? Are these safe? What are they? What am I doing? Am I doing something wrong? I have great anxiety about this. Vinny. Well, Vinny, thank you for the letter. Um, but first of all, I don't know if you're doing something wrong. I don't know you, so I don't know if you're doing something wrong. But about the crystals, no, they are not bad. Yes, they are safe. They're not bad. Let me tell you a little bit about what those are. Wow, what a coincidence. I happen to be making grape juice right now. So Vinny, I can tell you a little bit about these crystals that might form in your homemade grape juice that you're canning. They are not bad. Grapes have a lot of potassium and a lot of tartaric acid in them. And when they combine the potassium and the tartaric acid, they make tartaric acid crystals. So they're not harmful, they're not bad. They're just a little bit um, crystally and maybe gritty in the bottom of your glass of grape juice. So what do you want to do about that um, if you're finding some crystals in your grape juice? Well, what you can do is you can strain them, you know, as you're opening your grape juice, you can just use a little sieve or something like that and just pour it through the sieve. And then if there are any crystals that come through, the sieve will catch them and you can just discard them. So you don't have any little crunchy bits in your glass of grape juice or in your jelly as you're making it. Now, as the temperature drops to about 40 degrees, these crystals will form. The two um, things will combine and form crystals. So what some people might do is let their grape juice that they've made, let it sit for 24 or 48 hours, let it cool, and then let all the crystals form or a lot of crystals form and then strain it, heat your juice back up and either go ahead and make your jelly or go ahead and can your juice. Now, the, um, the tartaric acid actually is the same thing that you will find in cream of tartar. Interesting. So I suppose you could dry those crystals out, save them, dry them, grind them up, make your own homemade cream of tartar, I suppose, to stiffen your egg whites or your whipped cream if you want to as you're baking. It's up to you. But tartaric acid and cream of tartar could also be used as a cleaning product. You can Google some ideas about that. Well, I am gonna be making my grape juice. Don't worry about the crystals that you might find in your grape juice. Instead, have great expectations for your grape juice. Well, there's always more to learn in the garden and in the kitchen and in the chemistry lab. Bye.